hi welcome to Ravago. today i'm going to show you how you can connect the 60 volt controller to your electric scooter the voltage are 60 volt 30a and here are my tool i will be using this two controller wheel and front and then i have this power ignition key that is already installed on your scooter also i have this uh, two button dual drive single drive that is already installed on your scooter and i already connect your connector also i have uh, there's two connector that i will connect to my controller connector right here so i can use easily the wire to connect to the wire of the motor that is right here easy connect and there are two okay and this is my power supply it is charger of 54.6 volt and i will be using it as uh, my power supply already made a connector here i will be also using this uh, connector that will help me multiply the power to the two controller connect one here and the second one over here and my crew controller we will connect it now let it go let me show you the wiring diagram now this is 60 volt controller and the wiring diagram is uh, like this the two there's two connector are your battery connector two for the two controller and then you have uh, this one that is your motor face connector color is yellow green and blue and then you have the hull sensor there are two and then this connector this one is communication wire the rear controller and the front controller are, communi are, are communicating with this wire there are three i'm gonna connect them at the same time so the first communication wire are three wire i just connect it and then there is a second one right here that is a white color and there is one that is the last one that is gray color when it is not connected it is only one motor that you want this one is your throttle this is your power ignition connection wire this is your power supply power coming from the controller you can use it to power to power your light and this is your your your, your brake this one is communication wire this one is your low speed connection uh, now you know all the connection here now let's get it connected now i'm going to connect my power supply right here i just connect the first one on the first controller 
and then the second one to the second controller good this one is connected my power supply now I'm going to connect this switch button the single dual drive switch button the one that has the green color is the dual drive wire the green green one right here you just get it connected and the other one that has the green color is the low speed connector you just get it connected and this one this one this connector is the power ignition key also get it connected click good now what else let me see good now i'm going to connect my motor face wire using this extension connector connect the first one here and then the second one here and you can see the voltage on the display that is already on 54.9 that means my system is already good it's already working put it here then i'll connect the motor face now you just connect i'm going to connect the first motor you just connect the hall sensor and then the motor face wire you connect blue to blue and then yellow to yellow and then green to green this is our front motor like our front motor so the front motor is already connected now i'm going to connect this one motor this motor is a real motor and i'm going to connect it now it's same thing same process you just connect the hull sensor and then the motor face wire you connect blue to blue you connect green to green and then yellow to yellow and the real motor is also connected now let me connect the the throttle sorry i, I forgot to to show the throttle at the beginning my throttle is right here you can see it and it come with a special wire and it's uh, used for this controller The mini controller has the wire cable that is only supposed to work with them. So this wire is for this controller and I'm going to get it connected. It's 6 pin. You just match the arrow on top and then you connect it. And then you connect the other, the other hand to the controller. It's 6 pin. And you can see that the color doesn't match. Make sure you got it right. It doesn't match, but it's supposed to work like that. Now I'm going to run my motor. Push the power button for three seconds. It's already on. And then you push the accelerator. Boom. Our motor, our well, two motor at the same time. That means the dual drive button is already pushed. If I push again, our only the real motor is running. If you push it again, two motor running now. That's the job of the single drive.
the echo is just to limit your speed at uh, 22 or 25 kilometer per hour just to save your battery power now i'm going to see how f how fast it goes this is first gear now i go to to third and then wow now it's going fast 40 50 51 53 54 53 or uh, 54 54 kilometer per hour and the, the speed depend also with the power that you apply i apply 54 volt so if you apply more you can get more speed and with one motor you can see here it's going up to 58 it means the one motor getting more power so that is why it's, it's, it's going fast and when it's two motor now we see the speed decrease to 54 so if you apply more power you're gonna go f more than this one for sure good and this is how you connect your 60 volt controller you can just complete the rest connecting your light your brake and thank you for watching this video until the end and see you at the next video thank you